I don't really know how to start these videos because everyone always says welcome back to the channel but I think that's a bit cliche. But anyway, in today's video we're going to be talking about condensation and the problems we've had while camping in the winter. So if you're new here, we've converted this VW Caddy Maxi and we've got loads of videos on our channel showing the full conversion, how we did it. So if you're new, go check those out before you watch this one or you can watch them after. But anyway, let's get on with the video. So we've been away a couple of times and we've had major issues of condensation coming through the doors and also the roof to the point where it's dripping off the roof onto the bed. Um, we fully insulated the van and we did a full vapour barrier, like extreme full vapour barrier. I mean, a lot of people just do a few panels and we did like a full, like proper, you know, everything's taped up so that, you know, to stop that rust and the getting free. But obviously there's an issue with ventilation. So today we're just going to talk about what we've done to solve it. And there's my phone going off. <laughs> so we're we'll talking about today how we've solved it and the little tips and tricks we've done to get rid of that condensation. So obviously condensation is not really a problem in the summer. So if you're only going to go away from your vans in the summer, you know, this is not really going to be an issue. You still get condensation, but not as much. But obviously if you're going to be like us and going away all year round, especially in the winter, you're going to get a lot of condensation building up. Um, obviously, as you know, condensation is obviously when you get a lot of hot air hitting a cold spot and then obviously then the water droplets in the air condense and it causes water droplets which can then cause mold and it can obviously like drip into your bedding and stuff which isn't great so the best way is obviously you know create ventilation you know so you don't have the lar large pockets of hot air hitting cold spots so opening your windows can obviously help a lot but in the winter that doesn't do a lot so we've bought this um uh, correct me if i'm wrong it's apolis uh, condensation bag or whatever it is pretty much just cat litter in a bag um, they work really really well we put obviously put one on the windscreen because that's where you know there's normally a lot of condensation building from the cold glass and then we also put one at the back on the doors as well because they're metal with the glass windows but you can obviously dry these out in a microwave an oven or in the sun so this works really really well um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how we deal with it and so far they've been great and we haven't had much condensation since But yeah, we're just going to show you the spots we got condensation just so you can look out in your van So if you are insulating or doing work at the moment, maybe to put a little bit extra there um, Or create some ventilation so you know for when you go away So if you guys are working on your vans now, this is the main spot We seem to have a lot of water dripping through which is obviously where the two bits of the roof connect um, Underneath here, there's a massive metal bar. Well not massive, but there's a metal bar the roof goes into it. We stuff this full of uh, recycled bottle plastic insulation and then put um, van insulation, I think it's called, over the top of that and then we fully sealed it with tape as well. So there's no chance obviously like water's going to get up into the metal but it's obviously a very cold spot and we had a lot of drips coming off here. So this is another problem where we had a lot of water coming through. As you can see we've re-varnished this. I think when we put the plywood in we might have put it slightly too high so it's pressing on the door seal and then water was maybe dripping in from the outside. Obviously, as we've been away as well, a lot of condensation builds up on this bit and this whole section got stained, even though we varnished it. So I've sanded back the plywood and I've started to re-varnish it again um, with some better varnish here and then obviously we'll sand it and re-varnish and stuff again to try and make it all good and blend it all in. But yeah, so that's another spot to look out for when you're doing your plywood. Make sure you don't do too much and it presses on the rubber seals because that seems to be a problem. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope that's helped you out with condensation issues in the winter. Um, but the main thing is obviously ventilation. If you get ventilation in the van, that's going to reduce condensation. Or the cheapest solution we found is buying a condensation bag or dehumidifier bag, which is essentially the same thing, about £15. So a van for this size, you buy two of those bags, put one at the front and one at the back, and obviously you've got a bigger van, maybe buy like three or four of them. But yeah, so I hope that's helped. If that's helped and it's added value, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let us know in the comments you subscribed, and we'll get back to you as well. Thanks for watching.